Burning Basement. So we got something special today. This is going to be Rune Rooms, an interesting mod I was thinking of checking out for a bit now. I saw this mod on Twitter just randomly and I was like, oh wow, that's a cool concept. I wonder what that is. Uh, and then like two days later, it got released. I was so confused. I didn't think it was coming out this soon. We'll take this key and go in the curse room and I'm going to explain what rune rooms are. So these are apparently, oh hey pills, a uh, cut room variant. Oh, tears down kind of sucks. That was supposed to be an anti-birth. Anti-birth being the expansion. Uh, mod expansion, right, for Isaac that eventually got turned into Repentance, the full-on DLC. This room is apparently super special, and when you go inside of it, super duper purple, there's crystals everywhere, it's kind of cool. There's gonna be multiple different uh, buttons on the floor, like pads, uh, and if you hit all four pads, you get a special upgraded rune effect, like an upgraded, oh, uh, Alges, or an upgraded Perthro. I believe, also, there are bad versions of the effect, like a bad Perthro or a bad Awaz. So I think maybe it, it's a possibly like a 50-50 draw whether or not you get the good variant or not. Now spawning a rune room is absurdly rare. I looked at it, I was like, hold the phone, what is going on here? It is a, uh, for clarification, a 20% chance to replace the vault room. And a vault room is already kind of hard to spawn. The spawn conditions for a vault room slash arcade is whether or not you have two keys slash five coins in uh, the second half of a floor. So basement two, caves two, etc. That kind of thing. That's why you always see an arcade or a vault on the second floor. What's in here is the book of secrets. I'll take it for book room. Thank you for showing me the secret rooms. And then I'm also going to go ahead and take Gemini. Very cool. So what I've done is, uh, for content creation purposes, I went and I felt super hacker mode for doing this. I'm not even going to lie. It felt like really cool that I managed to figure this out, even though I'm sure it's not anything very special. Uh, I went into the files and I found the, uh, the location of the file that basically dictates uh, spawn amount versus the vault room. So like the amount of chance that it takes for a vault room to turn into a rune room. Base, it's supposed to be 20%, but I set it to 100. So if I find a single vault room, I will find a rune room, which is very exciting. And we're gonna play around with it. Also, if I don't manage to find anything, uh, as per usual, you know how we do it. We just kind of like spawn in. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Here's, I'm gonna show it to you. So that way you guys get the maximum amount of content. What is going on with LJ over there? He is not vibing. We did start with a twos down pill. It kind of sucks. It happens. It's not a big deal. Experimental. I don't have a D6. My stats went pretty well. I got my tears up back, but my damage went down. It's a little bit rough, but it's not a big deal. I'm probably just going to go uh, here. Wait, I want to do one thing. Check this out. Is there a key in the shop? This is very vital. Hello? No. Okay, maybe I can buy one. I can't buy any of these. So, uh, oh man, this is kind of tough. Okay, we're going to take these. So what I'm trying to employ here is a little bit of a strategy. If you have five coins or more, on the second floor, you'll probably get an arcade with a chance of that arcade being a vault room. If you have two keys or more, there's also the chance of it being a vault room. So what I'm trying to do, see how you see I got an arcade here? What I'm trying to do is I want to see if I can get under five cents, but always have two keys, which I'm probably going to spend money on the shop. So therefore, I have the highest chance of it turning into a vault room. Therefore, the vault room has a 100% chance of turning into a rune room. You have no idea the amount of work I've been trying to put in to figure out how to get this thing to spawn with the highest possibility for a video. There you go. So there's a second key. So all I need to do now is get rid of my 13 cents or at least just get under five, right? Now, in theory, uh, having the chance for an arcade and having that arcade turn into a vault. I'm sorry, there's the swarm right there. Give me a, that free item. Go ahead and just hand it over. <laughs> Thank you. Yoinks, as well as the secret room. I just sounded like Scooby. That, uh, they're all dead. Pill moment, pretty cool. Pheromones, nice. Okay, I like that. Uh, but yeah, in theory, having a arcade that has a chance to turn into a vault as well as a chance for a vault is higher chance for a vault, right? But in my experience, the extra chance for the arcade that turns into the vault, I mainly just get arcades, if I'm being honest with you. So I think it's better if I just stay under five coins and do the two key rule. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll be able to spawn whatever I need. That also implies that I get two keys here. <laughs> Should I go Devil Rooms is also another question I'm asking myself. I almost really want to, to be honest. I don't exactly have health for it. I think it'll depend on what the boss gives me. I don't think I have a way to get rid of money right now. Because I, if I, in order to get inside the shop, I basically need to spend a key. And I don't want to do that. What, what, what's in the curse room? Nothing too special. Just a couple dudes. How you doing, dudes? 
Oh, what am I talking about? I have an arcade, right? In theory, I could just spend my money right here. It might be a little bit awkward, but... Oh, I also have a boss challenge room I can participate in. I might do that. Yeah, I, I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend my money here. Maybe I get more keys or whatever. We want to get under five sets. Perfect. Or I guess under. There you go. Uh, we can fight in the boss challenge room, because why not? I'm going to save my roll for the double, though, because this HP up will make me want to go to the double. Assuming I don't get hit. I suppose it doesn't matter if I have 15 cents or less when I go to Caves 1 or Deaths 1, right? What matters is that I go to Caves 2 or Deaths 2, because that's when the spawn can happen. But we're still committing to this. It just uh, just seems better. Uh, again, it doesn't really matter that I'm under 5 cents right now. That's good, though! Uh, because we're going to Caves 1, not 2. But I'm still just going to keep under 5 cents and keep 2 keys and just stick with this. We have I Can See Forever, so we actually have free treasure room and free shop. I might be able to buy something. First of all, in here we have Epiphora. It's a decent item. It's nothing crazy, but it'll help me get some body wants pulled. Uh, a little bit of damage going, right? And in here, uh, it's Fanny Pack. I don't think I even have enough money for Fanny Pack, to be honest with you. Yes, I do. I have enough money for Fanny Pack. Take this, then this, then the other nickel, uh, and then we can buy Fanny Pack. And then we'll be at zero cents with two keys. Perfect. We get the devil, we get a tears up, that's nice, Pog Champion. In here, it's nothing too special. Check the- Ooh, kinda wanna roll. Take that cat. Roll these. Oh! Yeah, I mean, stake you, we'll die. Uh, and then I suppose I could recharge my D6. Bloop, bloop, and also bloop, and then we'll go next floor. Despite having decent damage, uh, our actual base damage is pretty low though. 2.50 is kinda tough. We just have good tier effects accompanied with it, so we need to keep aware that we can't exactly go crazy here. I also need three keys total, uh, because I need one to go to the treasure room, right? Ah, perfect. Third key for the treasure room. I'm just gonna fight. I think I'll be fine. Not often that you see double trouble. This does not happen. Oh my god! <sighs> now activating seven tier rate mode. Very nice. Booster pack. That's actually just kind of worth it. I'm not even gonna lie. I'll take it. What's it gonna be? Ah, uh, it's tower. It's good. It's just nothing too crazy. Obviously, we'll take perfection. I'll probably lose this immediately, but whatever. I'll use the spades right now, uh, and then get rid of the reverse tower because I'm an idiot. However, I got a charge key, so I'm going to argue that I'm not an idiot. Okay, there is actually an absurd amount of money. Maybe there is something in the shop I can buy, because I don't want to waste all of it, right? That's kind of unsatisfying if I do that. E. coli is getting rolled. Absolutely. Let me go back. Uh, and get that charge key. Also, I want to see what's in the shop since I have so much money. Greetings, gamer! Turns out there's a Mr. Me. That's just kind of useless. No thanks. Is it better to roll the shop? Uh, probably, but I'm just gonna roll the treasure room. Loop. It was so worth it. Nice. Ooh, soul heart. We can save that for the next floor probably, right? Boop. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Hello? Oh, health up. I mean, yeah, that would actually be decent. Uh, let me think about that though, right? I mean, we have a sack room. We have maybe a devil room. Probably not. I got hit. But there's been chances where I've like hit like the 5%. You know, I can't count it out. Oh yeah, I mean, looking at the map, there's just no way it, it spawned on this floor, huh? Okay, yeah, we'll probably, probably get it maybe on deaths then. Okay, before I make any hasty decisions, uh, let me make a hasty decision and use this pheromone spell on the boss. And then I will, even though this does nothing, uh, maybe get a deal and make our decision of what we want to reroll from there on out. Most terrifying boss fight of my life. I don't know how I got through that, but we're good. I didn't spawn the deal. That was expected. We're not going to pick that up because I have the chance to do the boss challenge room, which will at least give me more HP. So I feel a bit better. If I can manage to get 12 more cents laying on the floor, which I might already have, I could take it all and then spend it on Buddy in a box. Yoink. For now though, let's just farm HP. Oh, we also take Buddy in a box. It's Super Meat Boy! That's an Edmund reference! This floor cannot spawn a vault or a arcade, which is kind of disappointing, but we just need to hope on the next floor or the womb or the cathedral uh, that we can get it. I mean, by definition, the odds are in our favor. Was this? Is the bookworm? More of it. Alright, sure. I'll bite. I just got my ears blasted by the dancing music. That's cool. Thank you, Isaac. We have a 100% deal chance, but also this is so close to me and so early on on the floor that I'll just roll it and get Lodestone, which is a beautiful item. It's literally magnificent. I just dazzling, really. 
Headless Horseman? I like never fight you. What are you doing here? I have to spend my role in the devil, not you. Ooh, Lusty Blood's honestly good. I might just straight up take it. Flight is also good, but also I have dead cats, so I can kind of go for whatever I want. I'm gonna go for... How about we do this? Respawn back inside, roll, maybe it's good. It's PhD. False PhD will give me a lot of hearts, so it's, it's good. Plus the thing I really need more than anything right now is damage, so we'll run with it. Now hopefully I'm able to get some kind of roll for that boss, aka that horse. I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, dog food. Don't ever eat dog food, don't turn into Spongebob by the way. Well I found the boss, that's for sure. No rune room just yet. It's a very linear floor, and by that I mean a straight line followed by a 90 degree turn, followed by a 90 degree turn. Okay, well here's my shop and treasure room. So there's only one more place I can check. Uh oh. I'm just gonna go ahead and melt the haunt real quick. Uh yeah, you know, almond milk tech x moment. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, my plan worked. We got a rune room. Perfect. Uh, this thing is so absurdly rare. I cannot believe it. There's new music. There is new music. There's enemies. Be careful. Okay. Wow, this thing looks so cool. This thing looks so... Oh, you can blow up the thing. I wonder how many times. Do I have enough bombs for this? It's breaking, that's for sure. Oh... Essence of day, guys. Prevents curses for the current and next floor. Enemies nearby to Isaac burn. Enemies that die while burning spawn a beam of light. What? There are new items too? Okay, I mean, sure, it's a new item. Why not? I take it. Purity? Question mark? And what you're supposed to do is touch all of these. Wow, what a nice, cute animation. I love that. Should I just use these rune shards just for fun? Because, like, why not? Yeah, sure. Oh, I see. I have a little cosmetic. I have, like, a giant rune. It's a burning rune protruding from my head. I think that's all of them. Okay. Interesting. All right. I can't deactivate them. So, I believe now there should be no more champions that could have spawned if I did this earlier. What's interesting is you can also see... Degas increases the amount of champion enemies. This is what I was saying earlier. I believe there are negative effects to the runes. I don't know how to activate them. Do I bomb or something? Do I do I have to disrespect the rune room and it gets mad at me? I'm not sure. Uh, let's keep our coin count low. I mean, maybe I can get another one, right? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Okay. I think I got the bad version of the effect. Oh, maybe taking the item gives you the bad version. Because now I have champion only mom. And each variant is a different one. Obviously, it doesn't affect me too much because it's mom. But so interesting. Okay, uh, let's let's go up. Wow, this is cool. If I try Acnid, I'll burn him real quick just because it's funny. And then maybe we'll get a deal. A pretty high chance. I haven't been blowing up my keepers, so it's not the highest chance on earth. But it's possible. Let's see. No, and that's okay, because next floor I have a guarantee. We have under five coins again, over two keys. If I manage to find the vault, it will be another- Oh! Gibo, or Jibo. Okay, this is interesting. Back in anti-birth days, they actually added new runes. When Repentance came out, those new runes never came to fruition. So it looks like they've actually added them here. Has a chance of spawning a slot in each room. That is absurdly strong. Oh my god, what? <laughs> However, I want to know what these items are. I guess there's an item for a Gibo, like an item Gibo, and I know it took bombs to blow up that rune. So I'm going to take this Yara around with me and hopefully find a bomb and I'm going to Yara it and try and blow that rune back up. Or this is the bomb room for sure, right? This has to be it. At least one, maybe two. That's the wrong kind. Oh, there's a double bomb. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. We don't have to min-max as much as I thought I would need to. Still trying not to pick up coins because I don't want to do that. How many does it take? Two, three, I think it takes four. Just like giant props, nice. Gibo, there you go, okay. Destroys all machines without spawning any rewards. Interesting. Essence of Gibo, cool. Slots and beggars will attack enemies in uncleared rooms. I gotta take that. So what? You just give the beggar a knife and he just goes ham? I just, I need to see what's happening. The Tech X is hard carrying, by the way. It's allowing me to have fun with the mod. I can't imagine trying to do like the negative damage almond milk run that I had right now while also trying to survive the womb. Very cool. Dude, my tier rate is absurdly high. We're talking 28.40 with Epiphora. Holy, I'm machine gun man.
Oh, oh! Oh, wait, is knife good? No, knife is bad, right? Knife would make this bad. I would lose my Insta Tech X, which is terrible. I think I'll take Abaddon for the straight damage up and roll. Conjoined progress, yeah, sure. And then I have lives, so I don't really care. I'll just take it. Okay, not bad. Oh my god, I need to spend money. Hold on, I have five coins. I, I need to have four. I have one more chance. The vault to spawn, right? Oh my god, it just happened to me. I just saw what I just got scammed. No way! <laughs> I wanted to spend my money and it exploded. I got the bad version of the Gibo. Oh no. Damn it. Oh, okay. I believe arcades and vaults can spawn on the cathedral. I might, since I have five coins now, spawn the arcade instead. Oh well. You live and you learn. I want to see this, like, all the beggar goes and kills someone. Like, thing. <laughs> Like, what? That sounds awesome. I want a slot machine to go and attack someone. A lot more math than I was expecting today. Usually I don't have to do all of that, but anything for the content, right? That's what matters. I'm kind of just sitting casually at 34 tier rate and having a great time, to be honest with you. Okie dokie. Let's go. Okay, chest time. Boom. And then, oh, that's conjoined. Oh my god. And then also boom, boom, and bam. Oh man. Hushy, my boy, you're beautiful. I'm probably gonna roll you though. Botfly is great. Uh, it's defensive though. Come on, I need a little something extra than that, right? Okay, let's go search around. Oh, this is gonna be nice. I like this. Oh, it's the Psyfly. I believe I also have two, three Beelzebub right now. Not gonna make the biggest difference on Earth, but it is of note. I should probably go for that transformation if I can. Could have gotten it with the Botfly, but I'd much rather just roll. Oh, this guy's gonna explode into a bajillion holy lights because of the the essence of Dagoz. What a goat item. Secret. Oh my god. Don't do that to me. Spawn the head of the keeper right now. Oh, you tease. I don't think I have a way to spawn. Why is there a restock machine on the chest? Why would you do that? Roll again. I'm basically looking for an item that can spawn an item, like magic skin at this point. I don't think that's gonna happen. But I mean, god, the restock machine's right there. I also want to see if I can find a beggar or a slot machine in the middle of nowhere with uh, enemies. That's definitely not going to happen. I'll probably just showcase that synergy off to be honest with you. Because I am very curious as to how uh, Essence of Gibo works. I find it interesting that when I'm shooting more through Epiphora, my tech X's get like smaller and more condensed. It's actually very satisfying. L look at that. When I'm at maximum Epiphora moment, 31 tier rate, I'm shooting like tiny tech X's. It like becomes like, like a ray beam. I'm lasering people currently. I believe the team that made this was under the team called Team Compliance. I could be wrong, but if I am correct and Compliance team are the people that made this, uh, then shout outs to them because what they've made is honestly one of the most fun mods I've played in a long time. Going machine gun mode with our tech X, here we go. So if it wasn't team compliance, let me know and I'll fix it up, but I'm pretty sure it was. And what I played from team compliance was absurdly cool. We're not even done actually. Hold on, I can kill Delirium. Always make sure to support the mod creators because they they are so goaded. The fact that they came up with something this cool. Oh my god, I'm about to have the most fun ever. Oh my lord, I'm about to have so much fun. This is a Tech X Giga build. This is so cool. Look how fast we're killing it lives in comparison to the last time we fought her. Jesus. Uh, Guppy's eye. There's no way I become Guppy, but there's also, maybe, even, if you really think about it, a way. Okay, there's a slot machine. Ah, oh, but there's no enemies in here. Dang it. Oh, Kane's so sad. I want to see what this, this Gibo does. I guess you guys would have known by now, right? Hey, just wanted to try this out because it was really bothering me a lot. Boom. It didn't work. What? I have Essence of Gibo though. I must have done something wrong. Oh wait, look, he's chugging rocks! What about the slots? Uh, m maybe I did something wrong with the slot machine. But I know the beggar does something. Let's, let's go. Reverse card, reverse sun. Gives me a damage up. I'll use that for delirium. We are currently demolishing. I think a combination of Psyfly Swarm, by the way, makes me a defensive powerhouse beyond belief. I cannot get touched uh, under any circumstance, and our damage has skyrocketed. We truly brought this back. This feels great. There's that Beelzebub I talked about. Our reward is more tears. <laughs> I'll take a coin. Thanks. I should take these range down pills because they're basically just uh, free damage because 
the whole Tech X infinite range thing, right? Uh, at this point, we've cleared out so much of the void. I almost want to just hard commit to no longer fighting bosses if I think they're delirium. And we're going to heal up as much as we can before we enter their boss door. Because while this is an absurdly good run, it is the type of run that has a hard time killing delirium. We want to make sure that we can actually fin uh, finish the run, right? If we can. As I, it looks like Delirium is in the one area I didn't go, which, hey, works out for me. I think there's only one more- well, nice, a black heart. One more place that Delirium can't be, like physically, and he can't be in the top right over there. So we're gonna handle him, then find Delirium on the bottom left, and then we're just gonna try, I guess. Uh, and we ended up getting an HP up. Yeah, I'll just take it. The HP is so worth it. It's basically like could matter uh, to the utmost degree. It could be the reason I win or lose against Delirium. I'm gonna shoot to the right for a little bit, charge my Epiphora as much as possible, and then I think we're just gonna go ham. Use the Sun card and try my best. Here we go. This is the exact thing I was worried about because I just know for a fact this kind of build you don't destroy boss armor with. The boss armor is a little too strong. Trying to stay focused here. I'm actually getting scared of- Oh, there you go! Stay in that form, please, for as long as possible. Please, 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 please. Nice. Keep it there. Okay, that was good. We are doing very well. I'm just keeping my distance and shooting him from afar. I'm pelting him eventually. My speed is suboptimal, so I don't know. Sometimes there's just going to be a floating head to coming towards you. What are going to do about it? Oh, nice. Oh, uh, I was trying to take advantage of the fact that he was in base form and use bombs. But I think we're good. I think I played pretty decently. There you go. We got it. Nice. We're all done. God, that was such a cool mod, actually. Genuinely. GG.